What's going on guys, Josh here, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Velium Magrota Hybrid Filter System. This is extremely unique, and I can't wait to share more with you about it. Now, I do wanna let you know that this video is sponsored by Velium, but I'm allowed to give you my honest feedback on these filters. So to start off, Velium offers a bunch of different kits. You can get the standard kit, you can get the Cinematographer Pro kit. I have most of their filters, and as of today, they actually upgraded a few things in their filter kit, such as the carrying bag here. Uh, this only fits one filter at a time, but their newer bags fit six filters. So that's one thing that's gonna help you out when shooting and overall just using these filters. Now this whole entire kit is based off of the Magrota system, which is what makes this whole thing so unique. This Magrota system is actually adjustable, allowing you to change the angle of each filter. So if you're using gradual ND filters or if you're using, let's say, an anamorphic flare filter, like what Velium makes, you can adjust the angle, which is really cool, just from using this Magrota system. Now the Magrota system attaches to your lens simply just by screwing it on, and it magnetically attaches itself to the other filters that come in the kit. This is made out of very nice, high quality aluminum, and I just love the overall quality. It has a locking knob on the side, which allows you to adjust this Magrota system, and you can lock it up so you don't accidentally uh, turn it while you're shooting. So Velium claims that you can stack up to four filters at a time without any vignetting on a 16 millimeter lens. We're gonna be testing that out later in this video, but overall, I wanna show you my raw impressions of using this filter kit. So. Before we get into the raw footage, I do wanna let you know that uh, there is a specific order that you need to use these filters. For example, if you want those anamorphic flares, if you want that Cinemist, if you wanna use a CPL, ND, uh, let me show you how to actually stack these filters properly. So if you want those anamorphic flares, use the Cinestreak blue or the gold option, stack that on the filter system first. Then you wanna stack on the CPL, and then the two to five ND or five to nine ND, if you want to use an ND that's variable. After that, stack on that Cinemist, or you can stack on any other filter after that. But that's basically the gist of it when it comes down to the order of stacking these filters. Velium did let me know that instead of the Cinemist half, they are now gonna include the Cinemist 1 8th. Even the Cinemist quarter is more than enough, but it gives you that angelic, you know, dreamy look, which I really love. And one more update, Velium has upgraded the calibration marks on this filter kit, so if you're a photographer, this will greatly help you out with your exposure. So without further ado, let's get right into the test footage and I'll show you my overall raw impressions of this filter kit. All right, friends, here we are with the Sony 70 to 200 G Master and the Sony A7 IV. We have the Magrota system already on. We're just gonna remove the magnetic cover. Boom, all right, you can see immediately we're completely overexposed. So I'm gonna start actually building out the uh, CPL and the variable ND. I'm gonna start off by attaching the uh, Cinestreak uh, Gold. Just magnetically snaps on. Next, we're gonna add the CPL. All right, so here comes the five to nine stop. Make sure that you're checking for vignetting here. But we're at a 70 mil. There shouldn't be any major vignetting. So we're gonna make sure we don't see any vignetting on the 16 mil lens, which I'll do in another test. Check it out. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, we're not getting any vignetting at 70 mil, which is great. All right, we're gonna keep the frame right there for now. Very nice. All right, let's go ahead and add some cinemas. We're gonna add a quarter, because I think half may be a little bit too much. You should see a pretty big difference now. Now the Cinemist works way better when it's not underexposed, obviously. But when it's perfectly exposed, oh man, the shots just look so pretty. So here 
here we are with the Zeiss 16 to 35 lens and the Sony a7S III. We have four different filters stacked on. And before I get into the vignette test with you guys, I just want to let you know that I am shooting at 4,800 uh, degree Kelvin color temperature, which honestly would give me very accurate whites when shooting indoors without any filters being used. But as you can see right now, it's very warm with these filters. So in editing, I have to adjust the white balance or just compensate it in the camera when I'm using these filters. So that's just a little tip for you right there. These filters do warm up your footage quite a bit. Now, when testing out the vignetting on these filters, point your camera at a white source and overexpose the footage and you'll clearly be able to see any vignetting, which is those dark edges around the corners. Now, I'm using four different filters. I'm using the Cinestreak Gold, the CPL ND 2-5 stop, and the Cinemist Quarter. So right now you're just looking at a simple white door. All right, I'm gonna bump up the exposure. I'm gonna just mess with the ISO. We're on the Sony A7S III, okay? 16 mil right now. I don't see any vignetting. Let's go ahead and drop the exposure. Okay, looking good. Yeah, zero vignetting, guys. If you see any, let me know in the comment section, but I'll tell you right now, I don't see any at all. Yeah, no dark spots, it just looks like a white plane. Very, very nice. At this point, I would have had some issues with the Peter McKinnon filters and the Freewell filters. So it's really cool to see the uh, Magrota system not having any vignetting at 16 mil. So let me know what you guys think about this filter kit system. If there were two things that I would like improvements on, it would just be to make it easier to remove the filters. They are very, very thin and the magnet is strong. So you need to kind of dig your finger in there to get the filters removed. And two, it does warm up your footage quite a bit. So make sure you compensate for that in the camera or in editing or just prepare for that in pre-production. So if you're interested in this filter kit, check out the Kickstarter campaign down below in the description box and I'll see you in another video. Peace.